Well, hey everybody, this is Parker from Game Street Mystery by YM360, where we make games so good, they're really good. And today we're looking at a game called Sword Drill. And this might be something you're actually really familiar with. This is where you bring up the uh, a Bible verse, and whoever can pull out their Bible and find that verse first and read it aloud, they get a point. Uh, so this is great for teaching students how to find things in the Bible and uh, get them used to pulling those verses out. Uh, so this one obviously is easy. Genesis 1-1, it's toward the beginning. So we'll say Genesis 1-1, and whoever pulls it out and they start reading it, you can just click a button. Whoops, let me go back. Wrong button. We'll click enter, and that'll bring up the actual verse, and then they can read it aloud. Um, you can then click to the next one and bring up Psalm 23, 1-3, which is kind of longer than that one. And whoever finds it first starts reading it, you just click enter, and they'll bring up the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, and goes on from there. Uh, so let me show you the controls really quickly and how this actually works. It's really, really easy. So right here in our dashboard, you'll see that your settings, you just have these boxes where you would just enter in the verse text and then the book chapter and verse itself. And uh, right now, let's do that. So we'll click add verse. And then we're going to replace this text. And I've already copied it, so I'm just going to paste. And that is Romans 8.28 right there. So right here, I'm going to reference uh, Romans 8.28. I'm going to click save, and actually what I'm going to do, what you can see in the background is that just reset the game. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag this one up here and make it the first one that's going to pop up. So we'll click save from there, and I'm going to show you the controls. So for the controls, what you can do is you click next verse. That's going to obviously cycle through the verses. Uh, if you skip one by accident, which I did in this example, uh, you just use the left arrow key or this button to show the previous verse. The enter key is going to reveal the verse and show you what the actual text is. Um, and then if you want to, you can adjust the logo. So right here, we can move the logo up. We can put it back down in the center. And then we can reset everything if we really need to. Um, so the logo is just something, you know, if you want to bring it up here and um, have your verse show up. And maybe that you want to take a minute and just explain something from that or uh, that one's been picked. You can do uh, move logo centered and that will get rid of that. And then we can go back to our previous verse, which will bring up the one that we just saw. Um, oops, sorry, next verse right here. Boom. Romans 8.28 is going to be the first one. All right. So what you would do is you'd say Romans 8.28. Who can find that? So they're all kind of flowing through their Bibles, trying to find Romans 8.28. The first kid to stand up and say, got it. Then you say, okay, what does it say? And they start reading it. And if once you know they actually are reading it and they're doing the right one, click reveal text and they should be reading something similar to this. Um, obviously, this is your text, whichever um, translation you want to use. Uh, the student might read something that's slightly different unless you guys are all on the same, literally the same page uh, with similar Bibles. Uh, but otherwise, you would just do that. And then what you can do is you can click um, next verse and that'll bring up the next one. And what it does, it deletes the verse once it's gone. So once you get to the point where you've used all your verses, so we'll do reveal text for Genesis 1 1 and we'll do next verse and we have our psalm we'll do that and then we'll say next verse and since we've reached the end sword drill will come back down and that will alert to you that now the game is over if you want to keep going just click reset verses and then you can keep going from there and then click on uh, your next verse and start all over no real point to doing that unless you really want people the repetitive nature of that but hey that's you uh, so I hope you guys like that one uh, it is called sword drill and another version is coming out very very soon which is going to be the reverse of that uh, which is going to be uh, slightly I don't know if it'd be harder actually yeah maybe but we're going to show the uh, verse text first and whoever can stand up and tell you where that is in the bible then they get the point so that will come up pretty soon I haven't named it yet probably reverse sword drill or something to that effect. Hope you like that one and I will see you in the next game. Bye.